And to those of you guys are watching, um, you're like, Damo, one question. Where's your hair? Well, if you're new here, I did a fresh chop about a week or two ago, which means I shaved all my hair off. I'm bald now. But you know, I'm slaying the baldy look, so now I have on like a little wave cap. But the reason I shaved my hair is because I couldn't unravel the dreadlocks. I had dreadlock extensions and they're a permanent dreadlock, so I had to like just shave it off. But I was cool. I shaved my hair like six, seven times already before. If you are a veteran on this channel, you know Damo always shaves her head. And y'all be mad, but it's okay because hair grows back, it's just hair. But today, I'm about to teach you how to slay the curl look, okay? So right here, so so here is my wig, y'all. I look a little dry, I look a little, you know, not good right now. But I'm about to show y'all how to slay hair, okay? But before this video even gets started, I wanna thank Clay Hair for hooking me up. Like, I've never been so confident with some hair before and they literally just slayed my life. I'm telling y'all, go get this hair. It's the best hair I've ever had. It's definitely a good texture, a good brand of hair. And just wait till I wash it. I already know, like, this is about to slay. Y'all about to be like, Damo, so Dominique coming out tonight? And I'm gonna be like, yes, Dominique is coming out tonight. Say goodbye to Damo for the time. So yeah, shout out to them if you want this hair. It's a Malaysian deep wave. It's 26 inches with a 20 inch closure. Like it literally slays my entire existence. I'm rocking with it. So thank you Clay Hair for sponsoring this video and let's just get into it. So what I'm about to do today is basically wash this. All right, so I need a name to name my hair. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys name your wigs and I would love to know what you name it. I think I'm gonna name mine, um, what's my alter ego? I'm gonna name just Dominique. You know what I'm saying? Cause Damo is the masculine version. Dominique is the... So Dominique here, I'm about to wash Dominique up. That sounds so weird, oh my God. I'm about to wash her up and I'm gonna show y'all how to maintain some pretty curls, okay? This hair is already curly, but imagine when I throw something on this, wash it, condition it, all that, it's about to be laid, it's about to be hooked up. I'm telling y'all, this is the best hair I've ever had and I'm not being dramatic when I say that. This be having me right, so. I'm about to introduce y'all what I put on my hair to keep it curly, to keep it healthy, to keep it moist, all that. Like I told you, this is brand new, so I've never washed it or anything before, but today, today's today. I use Palmer's coconut oil to wash my hair and the same thing to condition it. Mousse, you already know to keep the little value, you know what I'm saying, keep it fresh. And then this is the cream that I use to keep it curly, keep it looking natural and stuff. I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, we about to go from dry to high. Let's go. So the first thing when I'm washing my hair is I turn on cold water. In my opinion, it's just better to wash your hair with cold water. It's so much more benefits with washing your hair with cold water. You just gotta make sure it's the right temperature and it feels pretty cold, so. Next, just grab the hair. Put it under there, get it all thoroughly wet. So I start to wash it. This is about to be all freaking bleak. Washing your hair with cold water also makes it not be so frizzy as well. So, fun fact. Gotta make sure the water's thoroughly in there. I take it piece by piece, then I like to brush it to detangle it. Makes it much easier, in my opinion. And then I use my shampoo. I like to put a little drop. Literally. Make sure it's all the way through. Make sure it's getting it. Smells so good, oh my God. Turn off my water real quick. I'm not even gonna lie. I put a lot of shampoo in my hair. And the reason I do that is because I like to make sure it's thoroughly through. Comment down below if you do that as well. I know a lot of people just do like a little drop of now. I'll be, I go ham with the shampoo. See, the curls are already popping. The curls are popping out in its natural form already. You don't really have to do much. It's literally like so beautiful too. Make sure it's thoroughly out.
then after when I'm done washing it and stuff, I like to wring it out and make sure it's like dry before I put anything else on it. It's already looking way better than it did before. So it's perfect. Okay, so now that I'm done with the washing stuff, I like to pin the wig down because this is why I'm about to become a beautician. Hire me if you need your hair done. So this is the type of hair like you can part it anywhere. This is just so convenient. But I'm gonna keep the part in the middle. I think that's what looks nice. So this is just what I personally do. What I like to do, I like to brush through it. See, it goes right through it now. Before, I couldn't even put a brush through this. Oh, this looks nice. Oh my gosh. Okay. Then after I do that, I like to use this curl cream. It is a lifesaver. It just makes everything look so much better. So the curls are already defined right now because it's already curly hair. But when you put this in there, it's about to pop. You don't even need that much of this. Literally, you could just use a little bit, like this much. And it's better to do all this, by the way, when the hair is damp. God. And the very last step that I personally do is add the mousse. This gives it volume. This just makes it like, you was already popping, but now you really popping, popping. You feel me? So I'm about to add this. Let's give this some. Mm. Now when this dries, this is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be curly and a little volume. Ooh, it's gonna come up. Oof. Ooh, it's about to look nice. And voila, look at what we have here. Perfect curls all throughout the hair, not tangled. This is literally like, woo, Damo. I'm telling y'all, for my services, I don't even cost that much. Like, you know what, throw me a cheeseburger here and there, and we, we even, we even. I got you for your services. So last but least, what everybody keeps asking for. Damo, can we please see the hair without a hat? And I'm gonna finally show you guys what it looks like on my head without a hat, without nothing, okay? So prepare yourselves. Here we go. In five, four, three, Two, I know you see somehow the world's gonna get to me and be so wonderful. Not to joke. Anyways, let's go. And here it is, me without a hat with it actually on. Look up close. My wig maker actually bleached these to make it look more natural. But yeah, this is it. Let me turn around. Mm -hmm. Pocahontas who? Mm-hmm. Pocahontas who? No, I'm just joking. But yeah, this is it. The reason why I do not wear it without a hat is because I have not yet learned how to like lay this down and anything yet. And I want it to look as natural and real as possible. I'm not gonna be wearing wigs forever. Once my hair grows in like an inch or two, I'm gonna start getting sew-ins. But for right now, I'm slaying this wig. And I'm telling y'all, clay hair hooked me up. I really love this. I could cry how much I love this hair. I'm never not gonna use this hair. So anytime that y'all ask me, where you get your hair from? Clay hair. They'll hook you up. Click below my bio and get the full hookup. I'm telling y'all right now, they would literally hook you up. Like, look at this. Like the, oh, the curl pattern and everything. So yeah, let me know how y'all like it down below in the comments. I'm actually feeling it. I just need to learn how to, you know, blend everything. But other than that, like, it's not a high maintenance type of hair. My honest, honest review of this hair, one out of a 10, I'll give it a 12. Like, look at this. And then the length and everything. Who this? So yeah, I mean, I will pull this down cause you know, the way my forehead set up is huge, but you know, I'm gonna just keep it right there. But now I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna wear it. Y'all know I'm a hat person or a bandana person. So I'm about to slay it in the bandana. I love the bandana look with the hair. Like it looks gorgeous. The hair looks gorgeous on its own, but pop the bandana on, girl, you basically Beyonce at that point. Like embrace your inner Beyonce. So this is exactly how I would wear it. So this right here is the look. I love this. The hair's starting to dry, as you can see. It's gonna be super beautiful once it dries. Oh my God! But yeah, y'all, this is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I wanna give a huge shout out to Clay Hair. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Make sure y'all go get the hair down below. This is 26 inches, you know what I'm saying? Inches, boo. So go get your hair down below. And I know a lot of you guys wanted to see videos like this. I'm like, Damo, how did your curls stay gorgeous? What do you do? Here it is. I'm gonna be doing way more hair videos in the future as well. So make sure y'all subscribe and join the family. I love y'all so much and stay tuned for next video. Bye!